In the last class, we painted the background and bougainvillea flower area. In this class, we will paint the cup that it uses as base, shadow, and flower details. We will use the same materials as our last class. Start by adding details to the flowers by taking Ofra and distribute it in a few random spots on the tips of the petals. Not in the center. Just touch the tips of the petals with opera. Touching the paper uh, slowly and gently. We are drawing the small balls here and there. Adding with opera color. Let's move on to the cup. Taking some ultramarine mixed viridian. So we are getting some uh, greenish blue. So paint the cup's outlines, then the base. With the paper towel, push down on the base and remove some of the color for the light area. In the reference photo, I used a plastic cup. If it was grass, it would have more shine and sparkle. Wash the brush. Next, paint the shadow. Light is coming from the outside, from behind. The shadow is in front of the character this time. We will uh, paint the shadow with ultramarine, magenta, and some of burnt umber. Apply light uh, color into shadow area.
draw the edge of the flower shadow. Still, we are using ultramarine mix, some of uh, burnt umber and a little bit of magenta mixed. Taking some magenta color and we will add the flower color on the shadow for a nature and reflected look. Adding some magenta color on the into a shadow. Also adding a uh, leaves color with uh, sap green into shadow. Sap green mix ultramarine and a little bit of uh, burnt sienna. Let's throw the stem in the water. Ultramarine mix sap green. Add on the stems. Draw the small vein with a uh, tip of the brush here and there. Just uh, touching the uh, paper. Also add a little bit of darker reflected color where the cup and shadow meet. And 
water lines. Okra mix magenta just touching the shadow area add on the uh, shadow that is uh, flowers reflected and Draw the veins of the flower with the tip of the brush. Also, we are going to add a little bit of a darker reflective color where the cup and shadow meet. So we mixed uh, ultramarine and viridian color. Touch it just a small area. Let's start with the flower detail. Draw the veins of the flower. Crimson Lake mix, uh, opera and uh, magenta color. Draw the thin line on the petals. Crimson Lake mix uh, magenta just touching the ed edge of the flower and tip of the flower area finally we are going to draw the window seal with ultramarine mixed with burnt umber with wet on dry. And then, with the same color, paint some random strokes on the table near the cup.
for the final touch up with the paper for spreader technique magenta mixed with ultramarine wetting the paper too much warm water there so taking some water with paper towel Magenta mix, ultramarine blue, and some of opera. We are doing a spreader technique. Mm. A short hair synthetic brush is best for this spreader technique. This brush we are using now. It's a little long hair, so it won't stretch well. If you have a synthetic brush, you can use it. We are taking some ultramarine for the background. Touch it one more time. There are small bush and plant there. Just touching the few uh, small space, small spots. Here and there, I will touch the background with the same color I used for the flowers, magenta and opera. This ties the whole painting together for a natural look. We are all done.